Surprise! Say hi, say hi to my new friend. Hello. This is Ben, also known as Lobster Pot Larry. Hi. This is Kayla, also known as Tanker the Terrible. Hello. Kayla's been in the background of previous videos. If you look close, you will see her, but Ben is brand spanking new. This is his first video. And I don't know who this one is. Never seen this one before <laughs> ever in my life. She kidnapped me against my will. True story. <laughs> for a good purpose, for a good purpose. We, Kayla has a bucket. That should sketch you out because we are back at the abandoned house. Why are we back at the abandoned house? Because we discovered when we were here filming Onyx Peak that there's fucking grapes growing all over this house. Kayla knows this actually. Oh yeah. Yeah. So we decided it would be a super fun adventure to make sketchy abandoned house wine, which I'm really, I'm really excited about. So Ben knows a little bit about alcohol, a little bit. Yep. Kayla's got some sketchy instructions for us, um, and we're going to pick the grapes, and then we're going to go do some magical booze-making stuff, which may or may not turn out better than my toilet wine incident, um, that make 1950s booze video with me. Go watch it if you haven't yet. It's, it's amusing. And then we're going to try it at the end, and Jessica's going to design us a... Uh, abandoned house wine label, which I'm pretty excited about. So anyway, come along with us on our sketchy adventure and make abandoned house wine. Okay, here we go. Back at the fort, we've got some buckets and a pot full of grapes, which I'm going to show you in a second. So apparently now the next part of, yeah, see how many there are? We got to pick through them all. I already have grapey stained hands. So we're going to pick through them all and take the grapes off the vine. And then what? Uh, then we're going to boil them. Boil them. So we're going to migrate. We're migrating to my house. Yes. Mm -hmm. So we'll explain the boiling. There's apparently boiling and mashing. Apparently Kayla's the mastermind. So if this doesn't turn out, do I blame you? Uh, sure. Or we can blame Brody because he's not here. We yeah, let's blame I, Brody. Perfect. I, I like that idea a lot better. Excellent. So if the wine doesn't turn out, this is all Brody's fault. You heard it here first. All right, we're going to pick through them. Let's go. Grapes. This is like a lot of grapes. Okay. All right, we're done with the grapes. I have, we have, everybody show your hands. There's Kayla. We also adopted Brody. He was helping. Ben, Ben's hands are like clean because he I mostly was driving. Off. We also adopted Val. <laughs> and Jessica. Yes, we, we all have very, very grapey hands. So let me show you the pot. This is this is what we got. This is all of our all of our grapey goodness and our, our dead our dead grape buckets here. And uh, now we're heading home to do the next thing, which I don't know what that is. Welcome to my house. I changed. I'm not wearing bell sleeves and cooking. That's the stupidest idea ever. Totally done that. Almost lit myself on fire. Not a good time. So we're not gonna do that. So I've changed into comfies here. And uh, we're gonna make some wine. We're gonna, what are we doing, Kayla? So we have to rinse the grapes and then we're going to fill up the water just so it covers the grapes a bit, simmer them till the skin bursts, and then we'll have a fun mixture of water, sugar, and dump it in a bucket. Delightful. I think you forgot the most important part though, that we're drinking wine yeah. while we make the wine. So we, we're drinking wine here in our super fun, super fun like goblin cups. And uh, it is baby duck wine. I would like to show you the size of this bottle. Let me show you this. I'll drop it. Look at the enormous size of this bottle. I haven't had baby duck in a number of years. It's not good. So we're, we're drinking gross wine while we make gross wine, which seems very appropriate. Plus the cork almost killed us. Yeah, they friggin' just <laughs> took some of the stucco out of my ceiling when I opened this thing. So like, <laughs> anyway. All right, let's get to it. All right, the grapes are boiling. What are we doing now, Kayla? Uh, we are going to mash the heck out of them. Delightful. You're the captain of this ship. Are you okay with that? I am perfectly fine with that. Are uh, you drunk yet? No. Shortly? Maybe. Delightful. More wine. More wine! More wine. Uh, the skins have burst. Delightful. So... And we have this very special dinosaur ladle. His name is Wallace. Wallace. Hello, Wallace. You're doing great. You're mm. doing a great job. He's the star. Absolutely. So we're going to mash and strain this and then dump it in the bucket. Mashy, mashy! All right, time for straining. This is Kayla's job. She suggested we get a towel as if we're going to be messy. We're not going to be messy. We're not going to be messy. Depends on who's dumping. All right, ready? Yeah, it's me. I'm dumping the bucket. So we might we might be messy. Ah! Oh, God. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Okay, we're doing, 
doing great. We're doing grape. We're doing grape. All right, what are we doing now, Kayla? It's hot. Yes, I believe that. <laughs> Uh, we're going to dump this into my pot that has measurements on the side to figure out how much water and how much sugar we need. Delightful. All right. Bucket juice in the pot. Okay, so we have this. Looks pretty... I don't know. I was going to say good, but I don't know that it does. And then Kayla has a bag of what she says is yeast. It's a quick dry yeast. Okay, I'm trusting you. Quick rise yeast. Then I'm, uh, that this is actually yeast. I guess we put the lid on the bucket and just let it sit in my room for a while? Uh, it says four days. Four days? Okay. So we'll see what happens in four days. All right. See you in four days, YouTube. All right, we're back. Welcome to several days later. I think this was supposed to sit for four and we're at like six. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. We made some extra strong wine. So uh, yeah, Kayla's going to help me bottle because I don't know what I'm doing. Jessica's holding the camera. Thank you, Jessica. Thank you. So as you will notice, we have uh, our wine bucket yep. and it's gotten a little puffy. <laughs> it's definitely gotten a little puffy. So I have, um, I have concerns about that. Yeah. But, you know, and we picked up this random assortment of bottles. There are bottles of different colors. We've got some have strawberries on them. I don't know, all different kind of bottles. So we're going to bottle some wine, and uh, and after the, after all the hard work, then we get to try it. Yes. Yeah. I can't wait. All right, you ready? Yes. Okay, who wants <laughs> to open it? So I'll take one for the team. Okay, all right. Okay. The internet heard that. <laughs> You're welcome. Okay, I'm going to... um. Yeah, I don't know, be moral support. Go, Kayla, go, Kayla, go, Kayla. Oh. <laughs> it might explode. It's gonna be great. It's not gonna explode. I have faith. <laughs> oh, I have let air into the bucket. Okay, okay. Should I hold the should I hold the handle down, maybe? I'll hold it down. I really thought you were gonna say, should I hold oh. the floor down? Yeah, should I hold the floor down? <laughs> yes, you should hold the floor down. Okay. okay. Oh my god, it smells terrible. It smells like farts. It smells like wine farts. Okay, good. It's bubbling. It smells like bread. And farts. And farts. I told you. <laughs> yeah, Jessica, I'm your fart face right now. This is her fart face. This is legitimately the face she made when she smelled the wine. So you know we're making good shit here. We're doing great. All right, back, back to fart. There we go. All right. So we have this. So what do we, we're just going to ladle it into? What? How are we going to ladle it? Should we stir it? Uh, yeah. Okay. Time for, uh, ladling. Bottle. Time for ladling. Bottle. Do you want like a deep ladle or a flat one? Because I have this one. I like it deep. Okay. The internet heard that too. <laughs> I know. <laughs> You're gonna get us kicked off YouTube, Kayla. I'm sorry. All right, I guess I'll be the bottle bitch. Yes. Okay. Coat's coming off. Getting serious. Good thing it's a punk jacket and I can just throw it. Have you only ever used this bucket to make weird wine? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, it's just a booze bucket. Okay. <laughs> gonna be way messier so like that's not that's not horrible it's less mess this time than when we were making it 100 percent, yeah 100 percent. so we got this many this many bottles of wine i don't know so they're various assorted uh kayla didn't actually get enough bottles so we ended up using three of mine so we have these three big motherfuckers in the back two of them are full and then that's our half one that didn't quite get full yeah. so uh yeah the next thing is uh designing up the labels jessica 
I quit. <laughs> mm, Jessica. And uh, then we'll uh, get to try the wine. Yeah, All right. So. See you with the tasting. And we're done. We're here. Welcome back to Kayla and Ben. And uh, we have our beautiful... Look at how fancy this is. That looks amazing. Doesn't it look amazing? Fabulous. Right? Exactly. So these guys picked up the bottle. Jessica designed the label. Um, and this is the fanciest hobo wine you ever did see. Made in a bucket right in my house. So we're going to get you a close for this label so you can truly appreciate this before we try it, okay? All right, so check out this uh, lovely label. This was designed by our famous Miss Jessica. So this is actually a picture of the actual abandoned house where we were, as you can see. Um, she used Google Translate to make our wine sound fancy in French, which, you know, is probably incorrect, but uh, that's that's half the fun because we're literally drinking hobo wine. And normally wines have the, the alcohol percentage here, so we just put alcohol question mark because uh because we have no idea so we're we're about to find out uh, how this tastes and if it is in fact alcoholic we don't know and we're back all right you guys ready for this yeah so jessica is obviously behind the camera directing for us today um she is making us poison test this <laughs> before she has a glass so if we all die i don't know i guess she inherits all the hobo wine and can just poison a lot of people yeah I don't, I don't know about that. It smells like bready. It smells like wine. It smells like... So that's at least a good sign. It smells like wine. That is the first step. <laughs> uh, yeah, it, it sure does. I don't I don't know what uh, quality of wine it smells like, but anyway. It reminds me very much of communion wine. Really. I've never had communion wine. I don't think I have either. So. Maybe, that's, maybe that means I'm going to hell right away. How did we get this much wine and the bottle's only that gone? I know, right? Magic! <laughs> wine magic. All right, ready? Cheers. 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 Okay. One, two, three. I kind of like it. It's really not that bad. It's really... That's surprising, honestly. Right? It's a little bit fizzy almost. I don't know how that's a thing. I think it's because it probably fermented, kind of. Like Maybe. The... Well, that's wine. Wine's fermented. But it doesn't then... usually taste fizzy, like, unless they specifically carbonate it. It's well, some, actually fizzy. Sometimes you can have the carbonation kind of like with beer where it comes as a result of it. So I think it might just be residual. Bucket fizz? <laughs> <laughs> I guess those are words that could be applied here. Yeah. Yes, yes. I think we have some residual bucket fizz um, for the record. This is actually really fucking good. It really is. Who knew that we made like weird ass hobo wine and like pulverized some earwigs into it probably. probably. And uh, maybe that's and extra fizz. protein. Maybe, maybe the earwigs are making it fizzy. I don't know. Shit, I would, like, legit drink this. I would, too. I, I wouldn't I, know that it was made from a bucket. Right? I literally was ready for this to be, like, not good. No. I have I, a new favorite say. wine. Right? So. <laughs> hobo wine. I was going to give this away as gifts, but fuck that. I'm, keep, I'm keeping the hobo yeah. wine now. So we have 16 bottles of hobo wine. Yes. Okay. So that yeah. is the final count. Yeah, 16 bottles of hobo wine. And, uh, well, it's like 16 and a half, because we okay. had that, that half bottle. Yeah, we did. And, uh, yeah, so we get to divide that up evenly. So I guess we both, we each get four bottles of hobo wine. That's really good. Pretty good for a day's work. I think so. Yeah, yeah. Internet, would you drink our hobo wine? This is my question to you. If you were here, would you trust wine that we made in a bucket in my house? I was skeptical, and it turned out quite good. Right? So that's got to count for something. Yeah, Ben's <laughs> new to our, like, sketchy shenanigans. <laughs> it gets worse. Oh, boy. Get ready. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So yeah, anyways, I think that the end result is like we all really enjoyed this. Yeah, Absolutely. It's, wow. it's really good. Wow, what did you do? Just Google like how to make wine? Yeah, I was up at like three o'clock in the morning and wanted to make something. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, eh, yeah, that one looks good. Yeah, basically. Perfect. So should we trust the internet from now on? The answer is probably no. I think we probably I think we just not. I think we just lucked out this time. We we really lucked out this time. It was Excellent. Fifty fifty shot that we were gonna either be poisoned or Yeah just disgusted yeah mm -hmm. we got the smallest chance possible we with did. this and it was we a good did. chance that's awesome so i hope you guys enjoyed coming along on our weird ass hobo abandoned house wine making adventure with us and if you did if you could give this video a thumbs up that would be amazing if you want to subscribe to my channel that would be even more amazing if you want to follow us on any of the things jessica's gonna write them all below for me because i'm terrible at that kind of shit but I have all the things, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, Kofi, Depop, I don't know, everything. Um, you have social media yet? Or no? Mm. Not really. 
not really. So we may or may not put Ben's not really social media below. We're definitely going to put Kayla's below so that you can uh, follow her. She's also a fabulous baker as well as a fabulous winemaker, apparently. Why, thank you. And exactly. an excellent photographer. Yeah, and an excellent photographer. Absolutely. She did some pictures for us at the abandoned house and they look fucking cool. Mm -hmm. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Cheers, everybody. And we'll see you around for our next YouTube video.